was e-cigarettes. So thank you for doing that. <laughs> there you go. All right, let's move on. A federal liberal candidate from the new riding of Hamilton West Ancaster doesn't believe her pro-life views will conflict with the uh, pro uh, party's pro-life stance. Uh, or pro-choice stance, mm. uh, is this going to be an issue for uh, Trudeau? Uh, I think so, because uh, Trudeau brought this up uh, last May, I believe, mm -hmm. and I was deeply disappointed that he brought this uh, issue up. Uh, I'm a pro-lifer, uh, and uh, it wasn't an issue for him to bring up. Sometimes I just wonder who is who's guiding him and who's telling him to say some things when uh, he comes out with this. He came out with it, and he said, well, if you're not voting uh, the party, uh, the way the party is going to vote and be pro-choice, then we don't want you as a, a member of our caucus. Mm -hmm. So I don't know where it's going to put her. Is Trudeau going to sign her uh, nomination papers and have her as the? Yeah, candidate maybe it up won't there? even get that far. You know, I don't know. Well, mm -hmm. Philomena Tassi doesn't even become the the. It, it it is the object of of what he put forward, and why would he do? I, I like. I, I still I, can't I, wrap I, my I head don't around. Understand. And uh, I uh, and I said this on the air that I was extremely disappointed uh, that and that would that would have ruled me out as a candidate uh, in the party mm -hmm. because. As being a pro uh, pro life, I would vote on that if it ever came uh, to uh, the house and to a vote again. That's how I would vote, mm -hmm. and he, I wouldn't vote the way he tells me to vote on this issue alone. So I don't know what uh, Philomena is going to uh, do about this if Trudeau doesn't sign her nomination papers because she's saying that she is pro life. And I would hope that and she she's would a great stay that candidate. Way. She's a great party. candidate, absolutely. Well, <laughs> like the like shame. the provincial conservatives, is this perhaps Trudeau giving everybody an opportunity not to vote for him? Is this something that he should have even addressed at this point? I, I don't know. It baffles me. It really baffles me. As a, as a member of the conservative party, who is pro-choice. I thank God every day that my party doesn't, you know, doesn't bring this up and make it a, yeah. a you yeah. can join our party, but only if you see it our way. And that's exactly like, what like, he said. It's ridiculous that, that, that this would become, because it is such a personal thing. Yeah. And it's one of those ones we all sort of agreed to disagree on, right? Um, and there are issues like that. And, and I just don't know why he's made that. The, I don't know. The, the because he did say, you, you got to vote. The, the way the uh, party tells you to vote on this issue. And I'm not trying to change anybody's mind about uh, how what they believe in, but I, you or, or you being pro-choice, that's, that's your, your business. But uh, she being uh, a Catholic, uh, she being a chaplain of uh, British to uh, mm, Bishop Tona School, yeah. uh, she's going to run into uh, a problem. I don't Surprised this is an though. issue, Alex? Surprised well, it keeps coming up? I think, um, I think, I think, you know, she, she did make it clear, uh, certainly in her statements, that she didn't think it would resurrect in the, in the House. Um, well, then why would Trudeau bring it up? But I think that, um, I think the one question that, um, that I have is that why wouldn't Trudeau sign her papers considering she had so much support behind her in terms of uh, big, big liberals. Mm -hmm. So Ted McMeekin and other former yes. members of parliament. So if Trudeau was to not sign her papers now, that would be a huge controversy. Yeah. Um, and I probably think, a bigger story. Yeah, I think we would see a lot of liberals, you know, tear up their, their cards. So I think, I think that this is an issue really for Trudeau and not, not as much for the candidate. And it's not going to be the only place, right? I mean, we're going to see this. This story is going to oh, yeah. resonate in other places and you're sitting there going are you literally going to throw out good candidates what we want as yeah, people to yeah. represent us in Ottawa are great candidates who believe you're right. and, and when, when it comes to these personal issues I mean sometimes we're going to have to just say that this is one we you know we can't all agree on yeah and the conservatives I believe choose their candidate on Monday so on yes. uh, December 1st uh, so we'll have that information then as well I think that this riding is going to be one to really watch I really do feel that in it's the next riding. election yeah. Yeah, it's a new riding. Um, it's taken in part of West Mountain, part mm -hmm. of, um, uh, it continues to hold on to Dundas and Westdale, but le loses Flamborough. Mm -hmm. And um, I think that this is going to be a, a three-way race. I think this is going to be a very exciting riding Because when watch. she was nominated, the first story should not have been about this issue. You're right. It Are you surprised we're talking about it? Are you surprised that this issue keeps coming up? Because it doesn't go away. I mean, there's lots of governments well, that, as you said, just want to leave it. Your yeah. leader. The the, the liberals created themselves. 
Yeah. <laughs> so at the end of the day, uh, have we not dealt with this? Well, have we put I it to bed? I'm, and as Mike has suggested, we've agreed about, to disagree? Well, I think what I'm fascinated about is why Liberals didn't extend your timeline. Because I know that, uh, or I don't know, but there was rumors that different councillor uh, candidates were interested mm -hmm. in seeking the nomination. So I'm curious why the Liberal Party chose uh, chose this as you know date as a nomination date and not, say, postponing it until the new year. Yeah, Give us I the inside scoop, Ron. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> are gonna, don't know are people going to concentrate on this issue because it's the issue, or are they going to concentrate on another thing that just seems to distract Trudeau off the, the real issues? Well, how is, how is, how is this issue going to go away? I think mm -hmm. when the election you know. hits, it's not going to be about that issue at all. I think that we'll be talking about you know, more national level issues. Will be, you know, be whatever Harper say is bringing to the table, that Mulcair is bringing to the table, and if Trudeau brings anything, then we'll talk about that too. But you have to have some concern if you <laughs> are if you are a a, a pro life person. Mm. You have to have some concern that Trudeau would only put this out there if he has plans down the road That's to do point. something with this issue. That's a good point. I mean, ultimately, well, I, well, even if he doesn't, he I'm certainly going to pitch now. that he does. Well, he pitchholes so, him because if he does absolutely. nothing, then he looks like, why, you know, a liberal flip-flop once didn't again. Need to be a woman we could about. get an abortion here in Canada. Okay? She she can get an abortion. It's uh it's it's not a criminal act uh whatever, but uh all right, you let's know. move on. Uh, Gian Gameshi in the news again. Uh, of course, we heard earlier on in the week that the lawsuit that he had uh, he had filed against uh, the CBC was dropped.